Hey, sports fans, it's Thursday night. It's 7.30, and you know what that means. As always, Daddy Yeah at Night is on the air. I'm Big Sean Kramars. That's Wheels with a Z. With and folks, Z. we hope you enjoyed Hot Summer. It was an awesome time, and we're going to bring that to you real soon. Maybe next week, but not yet. Real quick, Wheels, last week's episode of Daddy Yeah at Night was filled with action from beginning to end. And i got to talk right now. I want to go right into it. What is Keenan Moore's problem? <laughs> I mean, we've seen weeks leading into this, and I think the man has finally snapped. Yeah, he snapped for sure, and my guy, the Jewish general, Ari Sampson, was Mr. not... Mediocre. Able to, Stop this. Uh, the three wins are going to come soon enough. Yeah, I don't want to talk, talk about this anymore. He took the big L All right. last Speaking week. Speaking of taking the big L, Frank Nachi took the big L to the dark horse, Anthony Musso, who might I add is the best in Buffalo. By surprise, it even shocked you. Let's not... Uh, Let's call it spade a spade. A spade is a spade in this situation for sure, but our main event last week was something else. Downtown Kenny Brown and Stephen Gage went to war, and that damn Cheeky Lala getting involved all the time. Kenny Brown can't do anything himself. You know, what's your problem with Cheeky Lala? You She's got a big mouth. Yes, She's got so a big what? mouth. So what? We no, live in America. She threw me out of the ring. We live in America. Freedom of speech, Kramers. All she right. can say what she wants to say. Shut your mouth and let's talk oh about this God. week. We got more action this week, Wheels. So say it. So, yes, this week... We're going to have a match that you haven't seen on Daddy Yeah at night ever. It's a big treat. All Elite Wrestling's Red Death Daniel Garcia, a Daddy Yeah Pro original, is in the house to take on the dominant force, Jeremiah Richter, in a Daddy Yeah at night exclusive. Exclusive right there for you. Yeah, that's going to be awesome to say the least. And we have fresh action as well from some of the best coming up in Daddy Yeah Pro. Both of the ring marshals will be in action individually this week. Yes, you starting off with Flex Whitney. Going at it with that guy we mentioned earlier, that damn downtown Kenny Brown. And I hope Cheeky Lala's not here. Oh, she will be here. I can guarantee that. And it's the new and improved downtown Kenny Brown. Get it right, Kramers. I refuse to talk about that. But we've got another contest as well. The other half of the ring marshal, Schwan Ross, mm -hmm. is in action against JoJo Collins in what should be an extremely fast-paced wrestler's wrestling match. Absolutely. Ain't no doubt about it. You can definitely expect that with JoJo Collins in that ring and Schwan Ross. No doubt about it. We've Excellent. got a loaded card this week, and it's going to be awesome, and you don't want to wait, so let's go right now. What's up, folks? Carbone's Pizza open the contest time here on Daddy at Night. Big Sean Kramer's wheels with a Z. With a Z. Yeah, with a Z, that's for sure. Even though I uh, what? really think it's spelled wrong. It's not. That's, that's Cut it out. For another day. Keep it going. But right now, it's time for Schwan Ross, one half of the ring marshals, here to have a great wrestling contest with a guy who's back in Daddy at Pro and looking to make an impact in one JoJo Collins. Also known as the uh, the Black Flash nowadays. Yes, he is. He is not the Long Island stretcher, JoJo Collins. It is the Black Flash, JoJo Collins. Yeah, and this kid is impressive and athlete in every sense of the word. Going up against another guy who's very accomplished in the mat grappling aspect of this industry, in Schwan Ross. This should be an excellent opening contest to get us started here on a great week of action. Prime and ready to go for Daddy Yeah at night. Featuring only wrestling's Red Death, Daniel Garcia, the Ring of Honor Pure Champion. That is correct. Trained and uh, perfected his moveset right inside this building here in Lackawanna, New York. Grapplers Anonymous training facility, Kramers. That's for sure. Before he was the ROH Pure Champion, he was a Danny F. Pro original. On our very first show, one of the very first people to come out of this gym and be extra successful. Someone we're very proud of, and we're happy to have him on the show today as he takes on the dominant force, Jeremiah Richter. That should be awesome. 
but we're also going to see downtown Kenny Brown and that damn Cheeky Lala. Oh, cut it out, that damn Cheeky Lala. I'm getting sick of hearing you disrespect her name like that. You keep on doing that. I've been given word I can slap you. Open hand. You right across that. Balls. Right across you that big old fat face of yours, Kramers. Whatever, dude. But right now, it's action time in first half of the ring, Marshal. Schwan Ross is in here right now and having great control over JoJo Collins, who's got to get a handle on things soon here. He sure does. And nice. a pin. To Jojo. Speed and elusiveness out. by Schwan Ross. Enough from a two count. Like you said, kick out by Jojo Collins. Still plenty of gas to take for the Black Flash. Referee in perfect position there. Pin and counting, uh, rather. Jojo's shoulders to the mat. He's got to be careful. Yeah, making absolute sure that those shoulders are not. Oh, beautiful arm drag takeover there by Jojo Collins. But caught right back up with the legs by Ross. Impressive display on the mat so far in this contest by Ross. He's had an answer for everything JoJo's thrown at him. Absolutely, always one step ahead in this contest so far, and that says a lot about how the ring marshals in general have been in recent weeks here on Daddy Yeah at Night. Wheels, one of your absolute favorite tag teams, oh, right? Oh, God. Cut it out. Listen, last week was a banger in South Buffalo. We won't give too much away because next week we will be airing the first half. You said what? The first half. Of what? Of hot summer. Yeah, if you missed it, was it amazing. Folks, it's your chance to watch it right here live next Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, worldwide on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Gonna be awesome, that's for sure. You heard it from Wheels, trust him. Even though that's usually not the smart thing to do in this case, it I is. assure you, it is. Big Make sure you're job. here next week. But right now, let's see this Genesis Gaming and Hobby Instant Replay. The speed of Schwan Ross, man, look at this exchange. Beautiful drop kick right on the button by Jojo Look at the Collins. exchange we have on the bottom here. Utter madness here on Daddy at night. Two athletes going as fast as they possibly can, turning it up a gear or two each man. Look at a jockey for position here. As of, you know, we did crown a Daddy yeah Pro Champion, and we won't give away that information yet either. But these two men want a shot at that title someday. They better start picking up some single victories to get in line because there's a long line for the, to, the opportunity to possibly be the next Daddy Yeah Pro Champ. Absolutely. The competition here is it's at a fever pitch. It's higher than it's ever been. That is for sure. And both of these guys know that. Know they must pick up a win. But right now, the leg of JoJo Collins, Juan Ross looking to take advantage. Trapping his leg here in an awkward position. And you can see the look of pain in the eyes of JoJo Collins as Schwan Ross just wears away on young JoJo, the Black Flash here live on Teddy yeah, at night. Well, he better get out of here, out of this move with a flash because he's going to be nice move right there, grabbing the bottom rope. Absolutely, ring awareness by JoJo Collins using every bit of energy left in the tank to force himself to those ropes, forcing the break. Separation exactly what Collins needed right now, and he's finally getting that. Two seconds away from tapping. Absolutely. I can assure you that. But look at Schwan Ross like a rabbit wolverine right back to that leg and knee of JoJo Collins. Doing a great job of keeping Collins grounded right now in wheels. I can't think of a better way to counter the speed of one JoJo Collins other than to take his leg out. Yeah, absolute smart move on Schwan Ross's part. Oh, but look at that. Look at how JoJo Collins was able to break free there using that other leg. Collins struggling to stay on his feet, but doing what he can right now. Oh, Reverse right and pin. Just two. Staying on that leg, though. Schwan Ross, extremely impressive thus far this week on Daddy yeah, at Night. Taking a page out of the dark horse, Anthony Musso's playbook here, looking for that Buffalo, or are you going to call it the Boston? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, grab. The, it's, it's the Buffalo grab and wheels that double stop. Why, if you'd like. If not, I will. I'm not going to expose Oh, you. man, JoJo Collins, look at that vertical Good leap. Good night, Schwan Ross. Not enough, just who? Like I was saying, Kramers, I'm not going to expose your personal health business, but, you know, if you give me the okay, I, I guess I will. You know, folks, Kramers goes up and down the road, and he, he happened to get caught with some crabs, and, uh, you know, the, the lotion is not working from what he tells me off here. Folks, so, advice. There you if go. You, need, if you, need you to asked. Know I told. Where to get the best strength 
crab shampoo. Your man is wheels. That's with a Z. Contact him on the Daddy App Pro Facebook page. There we go. He can guide you in the right direction. This could be no, just two. Dude, I saw the Crab Shack card in your wallet hanging up. I like seafood. What are you what talking about? Oh. Whoa, look at this from JoJo Collins. Rolling through, though. Still They're just two. Out. What a match, Wheels. Great nice to match to start us off. Big night tonight. Like Kramer was saying, we're going back into the archives, digging out th through some VHS, laser discs, the pool. Red Death, Dar Daniel Garcia versus the big man, no other than Jeremiah Richter. That is going to be something to see, that's for sure. And it is up next on Daddy Yeah at night. Once the conclusion of this match goes down, but folks, these two could fight forever. What an opening contest. Juan Ross and JoJo Collins going at it right now. Trying to move up in the singles ring here at Daddy Yeah, bro. JoJo is really looking to pick up a victory here, and I'll tell you why. He wants to prove that he belongs here at Daddy Yeah Pro. And a victory over Schwan Ross would do just that. That super kick was just enough, but JoJo Collins has taken a beating in the contest, unable to capitalize thus far on the opportunity, and the door open by that super kick out of nowhere to the top of Ross's head. Bought him some time though that he desperately needed for this match here, the way it's gone. Both men back up on their feet right now. JoJo looking with little quick hands here to Ross's face. And down! This could do it. Not enough, just two. JoJo Collins on the brink. Holding that leg though. Ross has worked it over all match long. Absolutely, and that assault paying off right now. Look at this exchange one more time. Right to the chin right there, that last right. JoJo Collins, impressive oh, here we stuff go. here. Wait a minute, on the bottom of the screen, setting him up, gory bomb, and oh, down. Ooh, face first, that's gotta do it. Oh, and the transition. Look at this from Schwan Ross. Exclamation mark here. There ain't no way JoJo's getting out of this. Absolutely nowhere for Collins to go. Can he hang on? You hear Ross, he's telling him just tap, just tap. Rolling over is Schwan Ross here, relieving some of the pressure for now. Double underhook. Oh. Collins though, refusing to die. Ross has him set. All packaged up. And, th and that's oh, it. That is it. Schwan Ross with a that's real a big victory. Big victory, but a neat, creative pin right there. Your winner, one half of the ring marshals, Schwan Ross. Absolutely big win for Ross. Next up, Daniel Garcia. After that, Flex Whitney. Oh, what do we got here, Kramars? My kill grit. Your boy. That is correct. What's Mike Hill Grit's business out here right now? Staring a hole through JoJo Collins is what he's doing. You're next. Oh, JoJo Collins saying you're next. Sign of respect here from Ross and Collins, as it should be. What a contest. Take a look at this pinning combination one more time from Ross. Listen, Collins wants no part of Mike Hill Grit. I'm gonna, I gotta tell him. Well, that remains to be seen. Stay tuned, folks. Daniel Garcia next. Come on down to Carbone's Pizza for the best wings in town. Like these crispy garlic parm. Or these delicious country sweet. 
for the heavenly honey mustard, the flavorful Cajun, or the original hot sauce that'll have you telling your friends. Oh, and let's not forget their savory barbecue wings. Coop's Mania loves barbecue wings. Get the hell out of here, Cubes! Yeah, if you hear there's like new, there's more flavor. Really? Yeah, you work it, you don't know. And don't forget to try our new flavor wings, lemon pepper, and Jamaican jerk, you jerks, and tell them that the business sent you. So now, step into a chicken wing. Yeah, yeah. Guys, where are you? Guys? Hello? What's up, Danny Hand Nation? This is the big man, Jeremiah Richter. And <laughs> I got a deal for you. This nice Danny Hand t-shirt for only $20. Buy one today? or take a size 14 boot to the face. Daddy, yeah. All right, and we're back. Throwback time, what you've been waiting for. Daniel Garcia, Jeremiah Richter right now on Daddy, yeah, at night. And this is a big time throwback, Wheels. It sure is. Long before Daddy, yeah, at night was a thing. This contest took place. The dominant force, Jeremiah Richter, Red Death, Daniel Garcia. Man, should be a dandy right now. And Daniel Garcia Wheels is a guy that is on the top of his game. He sure is. And everybody has to remember that that game was built right here in this gym. Grapplers Anonymous Pro Wrestling Training, Lackawanna, New York, home of Daddy App Pro. And you got to believe Jeremiah Richter looking to impress in this contest. A big opportunity for Richter to show exactly why. He is known as the dominant force around all of Western New York. With Daniel Garcia looking to be the guy to foil those plans. Absolutely. He sure is. Garcia controlling the arm and shoulder here. This is, this is a point where uh, Garcia was running wild on the independent scene, if you remember correctly. Yeah, this is where Garcia was having contests in every independent across the country. All the big name independents against opponents you wouldn't even believe. This gentleman was wrestling three to four times a week well on the independents, which is a massive workload for any independent wrestler. And that hard work and that dedication is what got Daniel Garcia to that next level. And where did he learn to get that hard work and that level of dedication from Wheels. Right there inside the gym, he is performing in a Grappler's Anonymous training facility. Absolutely, folks, and if you want to be the next you. Daniel Garcia in professional wrestling and have an opportunity to perform on a national stage, the best place for you to start is right here in Buffalo, New York. Grappler's Anonymous Pro Wrestling Training is that spot. Anybody can do it. Come in, stop in for a trial, observe a day of training, see if it's right for you. And you never know, before you know it, you could be on a Daddy F. Pro broadcast. If you got what it takes. And it takes quite a bit, that's for sure. Only the best make it out of Grapplers Anonymous, that is for sure. And we've got a dandy in progress right now. Jeremiah Richter's got to change his fortunes in this contest if he wants any sort of shot well, against had, Red Death Daniel Garcia. He's had quite control over Garcia right at this moment in time here during this match. The arm and the shoulder are starting to become an issue, but nice takedown by Garcia. Grabbing the rope though, Nolan right, referee Nolan right on top of things, Nolan as he Evans, always is. One of the finest officials on the independent scene, that is for sure. But what I'm seeing right now with Jeremiah Richter is very impressive, showing that he does have that mat grappling ability. You know, don't get confused by seeing the size of this guy, Jeremiah Richter. He's got a power game to him, that's for sure. But this guy can grapple, this guy can get at it on the mat with the best of them. And you're seeing an example of that in this contest right here thus far with Red Death Daniel Garcia. A pair of kidney shots letting off by uh, Garcia. Garcia trying to do what he's got. Oh, look at the toss from Jeremiah Richter. Just getting manhandled here. Absolutely, and we've seen Jeremiah Richter do a quite a bit of that here. Instant replay on that toss. Unbelievable stuff. As you see in the upper left, Jeremiah Richter 
waiting on Daniel Garcia, who is not exactly interested in getting back in that ring right now. Can you blame him? No, I can't. Jeremiah Richter is a beast. And Daniel Garcia knows that he's got his hands full this Thursday night here on Daddy at Night. Wheels. Kramers. Can you tell Cheeky Lala to leave? What is, what is your deal, man? What is your deal, right? I want to know what your problem with the she one keep, Cheeky Lala. She keeps singing that she, she keeps singing that damn Drake song all the time. She must be running Ruining circles the in your head. For our nice viewers. And this week, unfortunately, Cheeky Lala's here with downtown Kenny Brown in the main event as Thank he takes God. on Flex Whitney. That's wonderful but news. I've had enough of Cheeky Lala, man. I haven't. I hope Flex Whitney puts down Kenny Brown, and Cheeky Lala's got to look at that with her own two eyes and be able to do not a damn thing about it. That's what I'm hoping to see in our main event, folks. All pipe dreams. Hop That's in what the you comments got. and let us know what you're hoping to see in that main event. It's going to be a dandy for sure. The Dual State Panapinto Attorneys at Law main event. Downtown Kenny Brown taking on Flex Whitney the other half of the ring marshals. But right now, big business is Richter with that huge splash, not even good for one. Barely good for one. Daniel Garcia, tons of life left in him. But you can see the sweat starting to pour off of both of these men as they go to war right here at Grapplers Anonymous on Daddy yeah, at night. Trying to prove who's the best of the gym here. And Jeremiah Richter making a solid case that he should be in the running for that title right here. Absolutely. Took the words right out of my mouth. And Red Death Daniel Garcia reeling right now. And Richter trying to take advantage and put this thing away. Pulling out all the stops here. Head of steam and smush in the corner goes Garcia. Irish whip hard into the buckle once again. Going Head back to the well. Oh, Ooh. nobody home. Too quick on his feet is Red Death Daniel Garcia looking School for a pin. Boy. Just two. Garcia taking advantage of the unfortunate thing that happened to Richter right there. Ooh. Big bicycle knee right to the butt of the jaw. Sending Richter right to the bottom of the corner there. And you see the way that Garcia just looked at Richter right there? Wheels, to me, that was an acknowledgement. Hey, man, I, you're here to fight, that's for sure. I think Garcia's woken up and realized he's in the middle of a dogfight right now. And he's going to have to do quite a bit to put down the dominant force, Jeremiah Richter, if he hopes to in this contest. Oh, oh, my. Did you see the ripple in the pectoral muscles of Jeremiah Richter? Sure did and heard it echo through grapplers. Looked like a damn bowl of jello. Oh, oh, what a shot from Garcia. Richter didn't see that coming. Oh, and ate a mouthful. He might be knocked out here. Yeah, Garcia's opened up a big window of opportunity here. Can definitely take his dominance of this contest to the next level. Let's see what he does with this chance. Once again with the knife edge. And a forearm to follow it up. Hammering away in vicious succession. Right now is Red Death Daniel Garcia. And look, Richter just spent on the ropes. Garcia so vicious, every shot is amplified when it's thrown by the Red Death. That is correct, and he is wrestling his type of match here, slowing it right down, making every shot count. Absolutely, no doubt about it, and Garcia Richter not allowing Garcia to get that Irish whip, and you see frustration in Garcia's eye. Just not enough strength to get him across the ring, though. Richter holding him back and holding on to the rope. Ropes. Oh, and answering back is Richter. Big back elbow. Now Richter trying to get things going. It's up. Big sidewalk slam right in the center. Hook it a leg. Is it a no? Not yet. Two. Jeremiah Richter storming back out of nowhere with that massive sidewalk slam. And you can see the look on Garcia's face tells the entire story right this moment in this contest. Jeremiah Richter slashing the throat on the brink. Let's see. He's calling it. He's calling his spot, Kramer. This could do it. Oh, but Garcia. Very elusive on the takedown. Looking to take out the wheel of Jeremiah Richter, and that would be a very wise move for Daniel Garcia. 
He does not want to meet that size 14 boot across the face. No, he does not, and there's no better way to avoid that than to take out the big wheel of Jeremiah Richter, and that's just what Daniel Garcia is out to do right now. Over and over, shots to the leg. And look at, again, look at the look in Garcia's eye. Just a pure assassin right now. The only thing on this man's mind is inflicting pain into the life of Jeremiah Richter, and he is doing just that. Grabbing the bottom rope, though, wisely is Richter. And Daniel Garcia knows he's on the brink here, knows he could put this thing away, but he's got to figure out just what he's got to do to do that. Jeremiah Richter refusing to stay down. Another shot to the back of the knee. Absolutely vicious assault continuing here from the Red Death, Daniel Garcia. Assassinating the dominant force. And another nasty knife edge chop. These are starting to add up one after the other. Look at the Look, welts. I was going to say, there's literally distinct four finger marks on the chest of Jeremiah Richter. It just shows you the level of impact. And Richter answers back with a big back elbow. Yeah, Garcia running right into it. Garcia once again right back to that leg. Kicking his other leg out, putting him to the mat. We're going to see a replay right now. Jeremiah Richter lighting it up. All right, here we go. How wise was that, Garcia letting Richter get a little bit of breathing room there. Immediately back on the leg, though. And Jeremiah Smart. Richter feeling the pain as that assault continues. Dana Garcia merciless right now. Definitely got to be looking for that death shooter in the best way to prepare for that. My goodness. A man's knee is not meant to bend in that fashion, Wheels. Oh, no way in hell. And I can't believe he just kicked out. Richter kicking out with all his might to save the match. Yeah, Jeremiah Richter refusing to stay down right now. And as we've seen build throughout this contest, a look of pure frustration in the eyes of the Red Death, Daniel Garcia. Jeremiah Richter showing that he is a big deal and he is in fact a player here in local professional wrestling and possibly nationwide as well. And if Jeremiah Richter can pick up this win, he will put his name on the map even more so than he already has. That's right, a victory against Garcia will put him on the map. Look at this. He's up, blood rushing to, oh, sneaking out though is Garcia, shot after shot to Absolutely. the back. Absolutely. Garcia realizing he was in trouble and right now desperation assault. Garcia's got him set. Oh, but Richter will not be denied. Finally getting that suplex on Red Death, Daniel Garcia. But is the damage too much? Richter unable to get to his feet in any sort of quick fashion. Garcia up about the same time and right back to that knee. Got an ankle lock here and nowhere for Richter to go. Inches away from the bottom rope though. Richter has to get there. He has to get there. There he is. Nolan Never right say on the die attitude from Richter coming through right there. What a big German suplex. Right on the back of Richter's neck. Yeah, and Richter trying to get back to his feet but rattled right now. And again by Garcia. Folding him up like a lawn chair. Too many of these shots, that will spell the end of Jeremiah Richter and Garcia knows he's gotta do something big right now to put this thing away when he's got a chance. Like a shark in water, oh. Answering back though is Jeremiah Richter. Out of desperation, needs to create a little bit of separation there. Side suplex by Garcia, but Richter popping right up. Head of steam. Big time clothesline. Black hole slam. Oh, that's it. Good night, Garcia. Can you, Richter get over and get the cover? He has to. It doesn't look like he is going to, though. He is spent. Both men are spent. Absolutely. The assault from Daniel Garcia has been too much, as you're seeing right here on our replay. Big German suplexes are the reason Jeremiah Richter unable to roll over for that pin. 
as we continue on the replay here. Watch the comeback from Jeremiah Ricks on that massive black hole slam. That could have been it too. He could have been the winner right there. I'm sure of it. I've watched him put many wrestlers out with that exact black hole slam. Yeah, I have as well, and it was not enough in this case. And now we've got a slugfest developing in the center. Red Death, Daniel Garcia, dominant force, Jeremiah Richter, who will come out on top. Another chop to the chest of Richter, but answering back is the dominant force with a chop of his own. Absolutely. These two men beating the living hell out of each other. Oh, oh. man. That was the loudest one of the entire contest. And you can see. It's taking a toll, Kramars, on both guys here. And the chest of Jeremiah Richter is something to see. Let's check out that left side of Richter's chest. It just shows you what a war of attrition here on Daddy Yeah at night. Big Sean Kramars wheels with a Z, taking you every single step of the way like we are each and every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live worldwide right here on Facebook, Twitch, Ooh. and YouTube, but Garcia off the ropes. Oh, there, there it is. is. There it is, size 14, right in the mush. On roller skates is Garcia. Final cut. Good night. Upset City hooking a leg, will it be? No, no. Not meant to be just yet. Jeremiah Richter almost with a big upset win. What else does he have in his arsenal to pull out here? Uh, we've seen about everything but the kitchen sink, and I heard those bolts are loose. Jeremiah Richter starting to feel that energy. Garcia reeling in the corner. Things coming to a fever pitch right now. One more big boot. Is he setting him up? Garcia can't even hold himself up no. here. And can you blame That's him? It. Oh, but that leg oh. gave out. Not hard to believe considering the assault. Shining wizard by Garcia. Right to the temple. Garcia got him set. Up and down. Pile. Nasty pile driver right in the center. Is it enough? There it is. Three. And that is it. And look at that. Daniel Garcia spent and can you blame him? What a match. What a dog fight it was. Garcia, Absolutely. your winner. Main event up next. Grapplers Anonymous so special is it's a great team environment. I come here and I'm able to deal with people from all different walks of life, people who necessarily wouldn't be friends in normal life, but it's everybody who has one common bond and one common goal to be able to be um, great professional wrestlers. And I think that's what this gym provides. It's a, we have a culture here of hard work and a culture of inspiring each other, and a culture of supporting each other, to where when you come here, you can instantly feel that. If you're a new guy coming into the gym, I feel like you can feel the brotherhood, you can feel the team environment right when you walk in. And then if you are um, making a decision to stay and keep training, you eventually get integrated into that. And then the team just keeps building and growing with all different kinds of people from all different walks of life. And I think that's really what makes this gym special. Let's just face the fact that even on your best day, you can never look as good as us. So, to compensate for what you lack in the looks department, I suggest you cop this Daddy S shirt only for $20. Daddy S. All right, we're back. Oh, to there's you. Shut your mouth, Kramers. Uh, I don't even want to look, I don't even want to speak. I'm disgusted by the presence of these two individuals. Big Sean Kramers and wheels back. Dulce Panapinto with attorneys Z, baby. Uh, main event jumping off right now. Ugh. I'm disgusted. Straight up disgusted. It's unfortunate. I mean, at least she's not saying that Drake song again. What? 
What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. If you're talking about her single, Girl. it's Cheeky Lala single. It's the Drake single. Un- unreal. What? Garbage. Please. With a capital G wheels. Please don't try to mock her. I'm tired of downtown Kenny Brown's attitude, too. Well, good thing he is oh, the new oh. and improved. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. One of the most charismatic men ever to step into a Daddy App Pro ring. Flex Whitney in the house right now, and hopefully he takes out the dastardly duo of Cheeky Lala and Kenny Brown. It is going to be an uphill battle for one Flex Whitney. Yeah, Whitney better bring his A game, that's for sure, because Cheeky Lala, as much as I can't stand her, there's no doubt about it, she's added a different level to downtown Kenny Brown's game. He has not lost a single match. That's right. Says Cheeky Lala has been around. And he's not going to either, because he is the new and improved downtown Kenny Brown. I'll agree with the new part, but improved is uh, is definitely a far stretch there, Mr. Wheels. Oh, you are a damn fool, Kramer. How much do you think Flex Whitney uh, paid one referee here to be in his back pocket? Because uh, how about none? Look will, at the smile on stop? his face. Will you stop? Oh, unreal. Yeah, but what about Cheeky Lala on the outside? What about when she gets involved? What are you going to have to say then? Listen, it's Kenny Brown's manager. Oh, let me Brown's guess, you didn't see it. You don't have your glasses, blah, 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 whatever. Same old crap as always from a horrible journalist on the other side of the screen here. Enough is enough. We've heard enough from you, Kramers. That's the sound, sound of the bell. Let's get it on. And if you're ever hurt at work, Dulce Panapinto Attorneys at Law are your folks, and they are the ones responsible for bringing you this main event. It starts right now. Kenny Brown in control of Flex Whitney as we get going. No surprise whatsoever either. Will you stop? I mean, show some it's respect. not. I am. It's not. It, what, what is, that doesn't what, what surprise is your, me. What is, what is your obsession with trash talking the ring marshals? Listen, downtown Kenny Brown taking full control is no surprise to me. Well, that's all be, I'm saying. Because Flex respect. Whitney is that dude. And that's why he's here in our main event this week with downtown Kenny Brown. He's that dude to get beat down by downtown and Kenny that Brown. that to be seen. Stay tuned, folks. We'll see if this, this prediction comes true, but uh, it's questionable at best. Okay. Shot from Kenny Brown right there. Flex Whitney up and over he goes. Wait for it. And down. Big jaw breaker in stereo. Flex Whitney lighting it up right now. He looks a little surprised by what is happening here, but he is successful nonetheless. Yeah, Whitney starting to string them together right now. Animus. Oh no, no buddy home. And this is where downtown Kenny Brown will seize the opportunity. Big side suplex. Hooking a leg isn't enough. Not yet, just two. One second away, Kramers. One second away. And one thing's for sure, Wheels, anything can happen in one second. In this oh. case, Flex Whitney gets the shoulder up, but he is in major trouble now. Flex Whitney needs to keep his eyes on his opponent. Yeah, absolutely. Take your eyes off of Kenny Brown for a second. Cheeky Lala will get involved, and then you'll get blindsided by downtown. That's why he hasn't lost the match since Cheeky Lala has been a part of the equation. And he's hoping to make sure that streak stays alive right here against Flex Whitney. And like we talked about earlier tonight, all of these men wheels are jockeying for position as we have crowned a new Daddy App Pro Heavyweight Champion. We won't tell you who right now on this broadcast because you will see that when we bring you the main event of Hot Summer in a few weeks. But starting next week, wheels, we're going to be kicking off bringing our live or bringing our audience Hot Summer in its entirety with the first three matches, right? Absolutely. But I wanted to add to that is the very first opponent for said new champion is going to be Steve Gage. Yeah, Steven Gage earned that number one contendership back at New Game when he won that triple threat contest. And uh, you know, that championship match could come at any time if Steven Gage is ready. But downtown Kenny Brown has stated numerous times that he wants to be that next guy. Of course he does. And Cheeky Lala has given him an edge that we've never seen out of downtown Kenny Brown, hence the new and improved name. Oh, look at I this. Disagree. Look at this. And downtown Kenny Brown just getting a little cocky in the center of the ring. And he better be careful because Flex Whitney, tell you what, this guy's resilient, that's for sure. Kenny Brown's got to put him away when he has a chance to do it or he will regret it. 
taking full advantage of every opportunity he is presented here tonight is the new and improved downtown Kenny Brown. Yeah, once again, but Flex Whitney answering back, trying to get things going here with a couple of nasty slaps. Oh, and a shot that sends Flex Whitney to the ground. Yeah, downtown Kenny Brown throwing those rights like it's nothing. Oh, and that is not what Flex Whitney wants to feel. My goodness. Following it back up. And you see every time these shots from Kenny Brown connect, you watch the eyes of Flex Whitney roll into the back of his head. Right there, prime example. Referee better check on Flex. I think he's saying he quits. Flex does not quit, Flex will not quit, and that's why big spine buster out of nowhere. Can Flex win the opportunity? Can he take the opportunity and get a win, but no. The he's holding his right leg, yeah. Flex Whitney got me so excited, I'm slipping over my words here. Let's see this again on that Genesis Gaming and Hobby replay. Picture perfect spine buster from Whitney. Bam. Absolutely, and on the bottom of the screen, Whitney looking to put it away. Big STO. This could do it, hooking a leg. Two and a half. Not yet. Not enough. Oh, but Flex Whitney pointing to that brain, says he knows where he's got to go next. Got to stay with it right now. That he is. He's trying. Oh, just a little too slow, though. Kenny oh, Brown. Time answering back with some rights. Slugfest again. You do not want to get into a, a fist fight with the new and improved downtown Kenny Brown. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, no, you do not. But again with a spine buster. Oh. This time Flex Whitney looking to capitalize. Hook in the leg. Cover the count. The win. No, not yet. Kicking out again. It's downtown Kenny Brown. And Wheels, will you admit at this point right now that Flex Whitney has impressed you in this contest? Absolutely not. A very impressive outing here from Flex Whitney thus far. And that damn cheeky Lala. What, what are you talking about, you Kramer? Like, oh. oh, super kick. My goodness. No, not this yes, way. Yes, put him away. And again. Put him away, yes. Pile driver <laughs> spiked right on the top of his skull. Yeah. What a load of crap. Two and three. Garbage. Unbelievable. That damn cheeky Lala getting involved again. And that's all she wrote, Kramers. And as a result, her client, downtown Kenny Brown, victorious once again here on Daddy at, at Night. And again, and again, and again, and again. Who's going to stop the new and improved downtown Kenny Brown? I mean, that remains to be seen. He is on fire. There's no question about it, Reels. That's right. I've been saying this week in and week out, but you don't want to listen. Listen, I'll take us home, though, brother. I am Wheels with a Z. This is that Chrome Dome next to me. They call Big Sean Kramers. Stay tuned for next week, Thursday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, YouTube, Facebook, Live, and Twitch. We'll Hot be summer. there. Daddy, yeah. $20. You too could fit in with the rest of the crowd and have your own daddy at a t-shirt. You know what? I have tons of fans. They said, hey, the moment you win a match, I'll buy a shirt. Let's ask them right now. Ain't that right? <laughs> <laughs>